you to actually take a step closer. Like you're going down the road. hold this out for you. Um, you don't have to like lean down into it. It'll pick you up just fine. Uh, first off, if you could say and spell your name. So my name's Andrew Griffin, um, aka Bullhorn Betty on YouTube. And uh, you're coming up from Florida, right? That is correct. So what brings you up here today? Uh, there's a 20 month year old missing child. And uh, the information surrounding his disappearance is a little suspicious. So we are coming out here to do our part. We've got flyers. We go around the country doing this uh, for other young children and uh, other victims of crime. Um, you know, you obviously seem very passionate about it, you know, coming to, I'm sure it took you a while to drive out here and you said you go across the country. Why is it important for you, um, you know, to do what you do? Because there's victims out there, primarily children. I don't know if people realize how many of our kids are disappearing across the country. It is uh, disgusting that Many of them are never found. And this could very well be one of them. A few of these children are Cody Bixby, uh, Summer Wells, Oakley Carlson, uh, Serenity McKenney. There are so many faces. This is just one move. Something has to change. And if we have to get on bullhorns, that's what we have to do. Uh, the police said yesterday that they have found evidence. I haven't said exactly what that is yet. Um, it's highly anticipated, so are you, of course, waiting with everybody else to find out what it is that they're going to say? Um, I am waiting, but I think we all have a good understanding. Whether we want to say it or not, I think we, we have a good understanding of what happened. How difficult is it to go around the country for cases like this knowing that things might not always have a happy ending? It's very hard. It's very difficult. I can tell you a lot of people don't realize that people like me, we cry at night. This is the stuff that keeps us up at night. But this is also the stuff that propels us to keep doing what we're doing. Is there anything you want to add that I didn't ask you about? This has to come to an end. And I am pushing right now for a centralized database that all children go in that have any kind of documentation from CPS where a social service worker can literally put in their um, social security number and see all the records from all the states from across this country. That's what is needed. This is 2022 and I hope politicians start getting behind this. Do you have any personal connection, you know, to missing children? Have there been any, any like incidents in your own life that's made you so passionate about it? So I am one of those people that can't have children. And so this here disgusts me. There are so many people like me that would give these children that are unwanted loving homes. And this doesn't need to be the outcome. And I, you know, we don't know what the outcome is now, but I have a funny feeling we all in our heart and in our stomachs do. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.